So it's teetering around 27 degrees and we want to cool ourselves down. We haven't got enough money for a proper tower fan or something like that. Or we've got one but we can't be bothered to um, get it down from the attic or the loft or whatever. But we've got a couple of case fans kicking around in an old PSU. So we want to rig them up so they can actually cool us down when we're at a desk and bring the temperature down from 26 to maybe 25 so it's a little bit more bearable even lower again to something like 20 so then we're not sweating out of our ring piece uh, whilst we're doing some coding or something. So um, what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to short out a few connections and um, sort of hack it a little bit. What you do need is either a paper clip or a hair, um, like a hair clip thing. I don't even know what the hell they're called. Like a hair split pin thing. So by default, if we were to plug the power power into the power supply, nothing will happen. It won't power on. Nothing will happen because it doesn't think anything's connected, so nothing will power up. So what we're going to do is take that out. Don't do this with it on because you'll probably should give yourself a shock. It's not too, much, too many volts because it doesn't really matter. So what we want to do on the... Um, on the ACX cable of the PSU is you want to find the green cable, um, which is that bad boy there. Oops, if I get my hand out of the way. That bad boy there. So what we want to do is we want to get that one, and then we want to count two across, so one, two, and then it should be a black cable. So what we want to then do is basically put it through both of those holes. So basically what you want to do is you want to get it through that hole there, and then the next one over. Now this is going to be tricky as hell because... Um, I'm looking through the camera and not really paying much attention as to where I'm putting it. Now with, with, a, with a hair pin it's a lot more difficult to get them in but you've kind of got to twist them, uh, twist the buggers around to get the, the twats in. Now you can also download, damage the pins by doing this so just make sure it's an old PSU and one that you don't really give a shit about if it kind of, if you kind of balls it up. We're in, we're in, so she's in. So as you can see there we've got our split pin going through the green one down to there and then we've got it skipping a gap and then going into the black one which is down there. I would recommend probably putting some electrical tape over the ends of these because um, it is live. Uh, it's not that many volts going through that. It's only like a five volts I think something like that or 12. I'm just trying to think what even, what even it is. Um, so once that's done, when we actually plug our power into it, unfortunately this hasn't got a power switch on it so we can't actually do that. Once we plug our power in, it gives us some actual fan action. So then our fans are going whirring around, making hell of a racket. And yeah, that's, that's how you hack a, uh, some PC fans and uh, PSU together.